welcome to this new video where I am going to show you another data entry project live where I am charging $9.50 an hour. I am going to show you the project details on Upwork and then I will show you the instruction from the client and the live working process. Okay, so let's dive into the real action. So now I am in my Google Chrome browser and I'm logging into my Upwork profile. So here's my Upwork profile dashboard going to my jobs. And here is the contract. Although it is named like email list building, get prospects and email addresses from LinkedIn, but the client considered me to take care of his data entry project and I am moving to the spreadsheet where I will work and here I have already worked on this contract or with this client for almost 1800 hours from the beginning and I have total earned $16,046 on this contract and here is my spreadsheet to start working and I will show you the uh, show you the instruction that I have received from the client here regarding this project okay so here's the instructions first instruction visit the domain to make sure it doesn't redirect if it redirects use the domain instead so to make it helpful for you to understand what he mean by this these sentences I am taking Upwork as an example before two years there were two websites two uh, two different websites one was named up uh, odesk.com and another one was named elens.com okay and they combined and they turned into Upwork so now if I put the previous name Odesk here, okay, O D E S K Odesk dot com. It will redirect me to the new website which is Upwork, okay. So I'm going to show you. I have put it here on my search box Odesk dot com, but when I'm entering, you will notice it will redirect me to the Upwork page, okay. So here we go. We have now Upwork dot com, and here is no Odesk dot com okay so that's an example of redirecting from one URL or website domain to another website domain so by using these the sentences client instructed me to use upwork.com to make the search or to use uh, instead of odesk.com okay so that's what is the first example sorry first instruction and I'm moving to the next instru instruction here. Google search the domain and crunch base. So my perspective or my purpo purpose of this project is finding crunch base profiles of businesses and finding finding some information and putting them into this spreadsheet. Okay. So I have to use the domain name and crunch base. To make a Google search for example I'm using this one and making a search to find its crunch base profile and here is the profile okay so I'm opening this page so here crunchbase.com slash organization slash the company okay and if we just make a I have I'm just copying the domain going here and control F that made a search box appeared here and then control V which I have pasted and here you go we have a website match and we have the email match but we need only the website match so now I'm going to show you how this worked if I just uh, cross this search button from here and just take a look the yellow background has been removed but if I just put it again and 
again and you will see that the yellow background has appeared that means that say uh, exact match with the title with the domain name okay so here we have found the profile by using domain name and using the crunch base to find the crunch base profile for this business okay now let's move to the third instruction visit the crunch base profile which we have we have already visited we are here okay so here's the crunch base profile for the company and let's see what instructed add company name into column b so i have to add company name into this field here is the column b and here is column a where client provided me the domains and co on column b i have to put the company name if i okay we'll, i will talk about the missing fields in in few seconds okay so here i have to put the company name from crunch base for example here is the company name okay i have to put it here if i was working for this domain okay and then then i have to let's see here it is total funding amount i have to add total funding amount using dollar uh, dollar amount in column c so what he mean by this i have to use dollar sign for total funding amount and i have to convert the amount for example here we have 300k total funding amount for this company and we have to convert it to actual digits and i am going to use a converter here i have in my where it is bookmark i'm going to open the website or the converter that i'm going to use here it is convert numbers to millions okay so here i'm going to use this website to convert uh, millions or thousands to actual digits and i'll put uh, the dollar sign before the amount for example here this company okay so i'll show you the work of this website within few minutes let's proceed to the next instruction here and the crunch base url in column d we have to take this domain into column d here is our column d d okay so i have to put the domains here and let's see what we have here after the instruction to the crunch uh, funding and profile section so here crunch funding and profile section okay so we have already i have already showed the works or the fields of this section and let's see if the company doesn't have a crunch based profile just write missing in the crunch link uh, link section so here is crunch link so for these companies i was not able to find the crunch based profile so i put it missing as clients instruction by following clients instruction okay and now i'm moving to the next one the fourth instruction uh, don't worry i'm going to show you live exam by completing entries for two companies uh, from the list below so just hold tight here we are on fourth instruction on the crunch base profile scroll down the investors section and click on the hyperlinked number of investors so for example i am on the crunch base profile for this company and i have to go to the investors section let me scroll down and here we go we are in investors section and i have to click here on this number as per my client's instruction here in, uh, section and click on the hyperlinked number of investors so here i'm clicking on the hyperlinked instructions and i have just clicked this displays all of the investors from the company so here we have got three investors for this company who funded amounts for this company okay and then let's see if the investors isn't already included in the investors information section below so here we have in investors in information section and he's instru instructing if there is investor name here we have two other uh, columns here first one is investors name and second one is companies in portfolio okay 
so here on this investors name if we have if we don't have the name on this list already then we have to enter it here so let's move to clients sorry clients instruction if the investor isn't already included in the investors information section below add their name okay so if they are already uh, so if they are not listed on this list then i have to add the name here okay and then let's move to next part okay so ignore the names of individual investors and only in include firms if you're unsure one included okay i have to collect those investors only who are firms and not individuals for example uh, here we have got three firms okay here are textures this is a firm and this one is another firm and this one is another firm and if i was an investor of this company i might have the name so I will have the name Ajhar Rafi here and I will be an individual investor okay so client is not uh, client client instructed me to not to take the individual investors name so I will or I won't take my name to this list okay if I was there as far as instruction okay then add the name of the company to the company's in portfolio section for the for each investor for example here each of the investors are investing on many of the companies so if the investor is listed on the list then we just have to add the company name here for example if this company was funded by this investor okay then I would add the add the company name here at the end of the list okay portfolio list they they invested on all of these companies then i will have the this company listed here as well okay so so let's move to this one okay section for the investor note that there will be multiple companies for each investor so separate them using a comma so i have just showed that i have separated them by comma and that that was the uh, that was the total instruction from from the client and now i'm going to show you two real example by working on two listings okay so here i am on this field and as per my client's instruction first of all i'm going to verify this link to see if it is redirecting to any other website so i've just copied and pasted hitting enter and here we have we are seeing a change here okay so i have to copy this domain and then i will use to find information for this this domain but i don't have to make a change here okay so i'm going to use this domain first put it the domain then i am putting crunchbase from here crunchbase.com and let's see if i can find a crunchbase profile here we go i think this one but i will verify the link control f control v and here is the match okay it's just turned into yellow background so this is the match and now i am going to collect the company name here company name under the v column b and here it is and then the funding amount 270k so usd so here i am putting 270 and here it is listed on millions but i have to change it on thousands and here is the actual number so i'm going to copy and i'm going to put it here and here if you just notice that the amount i have put it was 270,000 only but it automatically took the dollar sign because i have made the formattings before as i have showed the process on one of my previous data entry related uh, data entry related video you can watch that video from my channel 
okay when it is it comes to comes a uh, talk about my channel then I would love to memorize you about subscribing to my channel because I am a professional virtual assistant providing data entry web research lead generation services to clients and I am going to upload more videos about data entry web research lead generation and freelancing and many other ways about earning online so if you don't want to miss them then please don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you have got any question about any part or anything what I am showing you or if you want to know anything about freelancing making money online then you can ask me by commenting below okay so I'm moving to the actual job and here our third instruction was collecting the domain name sorry collecting the crunchbase profile URL for the company so I'm going to collect the profile URL here okay and now it's time to find its investors name and, and before I go for the investors name I'm going to open notepad for my use okay here my notepad is opened it's in teeny size because I want it to be teeny to make it convenient for my use for this project so I have just put it my comp as the company name from the Crunchbase profile and now I'm going to find the investors control F then I N V E S T O R S and here is the investors it just land me to okay so from here we got the instruction to click on this number four and here we go we have the investors and here if you just notice as I discussed before about the individual members and about firms and our client needs the firms okay so I'll take the firm here it is starter accelerator this is the firm and here Maxim Rubin this is an individual person Miri Yudovic this is in another uh, individual person and Kirill Kleiner this one is another individual person so here we have got one targeted investor name so I'm going to copy the investor name okay so I'm going to use my extension here the extension name is copy link to text you will be able to find this on Chrome Web Store I'm going to copy then uh, by default there is a there is a formatting for this name uh, copying the name so I'm going to move the formatting by pasting it here and then I'm going to copy it again copy and then here I'm going to use control F control V to see if this list is already listed on my existed investors list so as it was not existing so I'm going to put it here and then I have to put the company name here okay so I have just completed entry for one company and I'm going to show you this information collection for this company and I'll make a conclusion by giving you some tips if I um, remember anything to give so let's see if there is a change zeno.in zeno.in so no change I'm going to copy the domain and then using the same search term the domain name in first and then crunchbase.com and hitting enter and I think this one is the company page I'm going to cross the previous one here it is let me verify the link so here I have got no match with the domain name so I am just I'm just uh, moving for the next result which one I opened maybe this one control F control V and this is matching with my uh, with my targeted what to say targeted search keyword okay and I'm going to collect information for this company here it is San, uh, Zeno is the company name putting it here and then we have okay so for this company we are not going to be able to find the funding amount because here it is not listed in this case we can keep the field blank and it's okay to keep it blank and now here is the uh, 
uh, cringe based profile link I have just copied and pasted it here and let's see if I can find any investors INVSTORS so as there is no funding there will be no investors okay so it was not a successful entry in this case I would love to show you another one maybe it will be helpful for your better understanding but if it makes you bored please pardon me okay so here we go I am making it a bit speeder C R U N C H B A S E dot com and your marketplace I don't know if I am going to be successful for this one sometime we won't be able to find information for all of the companies we are looking for and that's okay there, there is nothing to be worried about okay so for this company I'm, I'm not being able to find a crunch based profile so I'm going to put it missing and going to show this one I, I want to show you a successful end okay that's my uh, destination here or that's my what to say so I've just copied the domain name pasted it here then cruncehbse.com then make a search and dirtdesigner.com I'm not sure what's happening open again I think I'm a failure again for this company as well but that's okay to keep them blank when there is no information so now if you got a question that this fields are I'm, I'm, I'm leaving these fields uh, blank and keeping missing uh, this is because my client instructed me to do okay and it, it, you don't have to be worried about on any project if you are, if you are working uh, if you got a blank field that's that's okay because you are not a robot okay and we are not a robot and we are humans we will, will, we will only be able to find information which are available on the internet okay so I'm going to open this one let's see if I can find okay so there is a uh, is a problem with the website but let me see if I can find anything here CRU and CHBSC uh, nothing okay so hey I think I'm making you bored but pardon me I want to see a successful entry actually successful last entry for this video and if it was making you bored then please let me know by commenting below so that I will I will just ignore making a video longer okay because I don't want to make you bored I just want to help you okay so here we have got a successful match here and unfortunately there is no funds added but it's okay although we are not fully successful with this entry but I can say a partially I am successful so I will make a conclusion and let's see if I can find funding Oh, sorry I have put it fund, funding F U N D I N funding okay so there is no funding information but it's okay and I'm going to collect the link URL here and here is the number of investments because it's time to collect our investment investors information and here we go here we have lots of investors and it is going to take some time but it's okay let me collect the name I'm just copying the name pasted it here okay so no match I'm putting it here copying the name pasted it here to remove the this one okay I will just speed up I might have to speed up this uh, this section okay but let me do okay guys just let me know if if I if I'm making you bored by uh, making this video a longer one okay and if I am being able to make you uh, make you understand okay 
so please let me know as well because if it was helpful to you i'd love to know if it was help helpful to you because it will be helpful for me to uh, give you a better video in my next upload okay so as i'm planning to upload more videos so this will really be helpful for me to understand what actually will work best for you and what types of videos will be really helpful for you okay so this one Hey, let me just tell you something uh, I have just got a memorization as I, I as I told you that I would love to give you any tips if I could remember so the tips is actually it's not uh, a, a tip but it's an information that whatever whatever skill you are gaining here from my videos or from any other uh, channels or any other videos okay you will be able to use them on many uh, many uh, other websites okay many other freelance websites to use for example I'm just I got this contract on Upwork okay but you will be able to use this skill okay use the skills or use this uh, you'll be able to find many jobs okay on Fiverr as well the same jobs okay and on people per hour or maybe on freelancer.com there are many websites where you will be able to find jobs so just give some time and dedicate yourself to learn some skills and this will be really helpful for you and this will be really helpful for you to get more jobs so in virtual working environment the more skills you have the more value you have okay so as a virtual assistant i have many skills and you are going to learn from me though all most of the skills okay i'm going to make most videos about most of these skills so i'm just moving them here moving them below where they should be okay so you are going to see many videos regarding a virtual assistance tasks okay so just keep following keep asking okay if you ask me any question I will know that what uh, what topics you want to know or what is your question because if you have a question I have an answer okay and I would love to help you by providing as much information as I can okay so that's I think going to be a conclusion part because I have successfully completed uh, two entries actually two, sorry I have <laughs> put it three uh, entries but one was uh, totally successful and two other was partially successful and okay so that's it okay so if you want to get started as a uh, freelancer with virtual assistant title or maybe to provide admin support tasks then then it's really easy to get started you will uh, you'll be able to earn the good amount by only providing data entry task as you can see I am providing data entry task to this client and I have already earned 16,000 plus dollars from this single client okay so there are many opportunities for you as well you just have to learn you just have to be patient and you just have to find the works and apply them okay reach out to them to get hired okay and then you will be able to do these jobs as well okay so on the last part I would love to memorize you that if, if you have found this video helpful and if you want to learn more from me please don't forget to subscribe my channel and you can subscribe right now okay and if you have found this video helpful then please give it a thumbs up like this video and if you if you think that this video would be helpful for other people as well maybe he or she could be your friend maybe any other family member 
that would be uh, that would get help from this video then please don't hesitate to share this video with them because sharing is caring and i love sharing as well okay so i'm hoping to see you in the next video and happy earning happy learning and happy freelance journey okay so have good times